Hey there! Have you ever heard about trunk sharing? Well, if there's more than one office located in different locations, have been equipped with that serious PBX connected to local physical trunks, we can actually share the trunks connected to one PBX with other PBXs. That's what trunk sharing is. With this feature, we can easily make international calls at the local call rate. Suppose you have set up a company with two offices, one in China, the other in the US. Each office has been equipped with an s PBX connected to the local physical trunks, like a SIM card, PSTN, and PRI. If employees in China want to make a call to clients in the US, we can help to save the cost of the international call rate through the SIP trunk between two offices, sharing the local trunk resources in the US. In other words, we can basically call to the client by the local trunks in the US at the call rate of US local calls indirectly. So, the next question, how to make that work? The configuration is quite simple, let's figure out. Taking the scenario mentioned just now as an example. Now, both s series PBX has been deployed with a private IP, setting behind a router with a static public IP. Now, we want to allow employees in Office A to make a call to a client in the US via the SIM card, which is inserted in the PBX in Office B. At the very beginning, we're supposed to do basic network settings on both routers and PBX to make them accessible through the internet. On both routers, MAP SIP ports, by default, VR UDP port 5060 and UDP port 10,000 to 12,000. Say we have forwarded these ports in this way for both PBX. Next, we need to enable NAT on both PBX. On PBX A, go visit NAT setting page. In this scenario, we choose the type of the external IP address. Enter the public IP of the router and local network. Then, we turn to the PBX B do the NAT settings in the same way. Now we can start creating trunks and roads. Since static public IPs are available on each side, we can create peer trunks to integrate them. On PBX A, add a peer trunk. Enter the public IP of Office B instead of PBX B's private IP. Check the registration status. Now it works. On PBX B, Create a peer trunk as well. Don't forget to check the status, confirm the connection. Now both trunks work, we can route calls between. To allow employees in Office A making outgoing calls to the client in the US via the same card in Office B, we ought to route calls out from PBX A to PBX B first. Then we jump into the PBX B, route the incoming call from PBX A out via an outbound route with the same card selected. Back to the PBX A, add an outbound road, choose the peer trunk and extensions. Set a dial pattern matching the outgoing calls to the US. In China, when we make calls to the US, we need to dial 00 plus the US country code 1 first, then we dial the target number. So we can set it in this way. While on PBX B, firstly, let's create an outbound road for the SIM card, and then set this road to the destination of an inbound road. Now we create an inbound road for the peer trunk. Select the outbound road we've created as the incoming call's destination. Okay, now let's make a call from PBX A to test the connection. The outgoing calls to the US will be established via the SIM card in Office B. And of course, we saved our cost. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to us if you're not already. I will see you guys in the next one.